So now we have to find a picture to put the uh, person we cut out into. And one of the main things to do to make it believable is to put the person that you cut out both in front of some things in the picture and behind some things. So I'm going to put Ben Stiller behind Barack Obama. He's going to be the Secret Service guy. So I'm going to show you how to put him between two items in the picture. So again, I found the picture. I'm going to right click, save image as... President Barack Obama. I'm going to put it on my desktop so I can find it. Save. It is saved. So now we're going to go back to Photoshop. And uh, right there. So there's Ben Stiller. And I'm going to now do File, Open. One of the main things too in combining two pictures is to... is this it? No. No. Where did he go? Oh, it's on the desktop. So I'm going to sort by date, so I can, there we go, so open, is the lighting really needs to be pretty similar between the two pictures you're working with. Now it looks like Ben Stiller's a little lighter, we'll try and edit that later, but it's, if you're going to take two pictures and combine them, try and get the lighting and the shadows the same. Okay, so on Barack Obama, he's there, that's fine, so we're going to go back to Ben Stiller, and I'm going to use this magic wand here. So again, if you click and hold, you'll see the two things. We don't want the quick selection tool, we want the magic wand. And I'm just going to click in the blank. I'm going to be on the Ben Stiller layer. And there, see we're on the Ben Stiller layer. I'm going to click on that area and you can see what's called the marching ants going around the edges here. They're called marching ants because they look like they're marching ants. And you can see everything but Ben Stiller is selected. So I'm going to go up to select. I'm going to click inverse so it switches what's selected now Ben Stiller is selected I'm going to do edit copy I'm going to go back to the Barack Obama layer now your Photoshop may look a little different from mine because I have a newer version but it is pretty much the same and I'm going to do edit paste and then if you go to the tool at the top, it's a little arrow with crosshairs. And I'm on the Ben Stiller layer. You can move Ben Stiller around. So I'm going to put him right about where he would be if he was standing back there behind him. So that's pretty good. So there's Ben Stiller standing behind Barack Obama. Um, right now he is still in front because of that, but the trick here now is to, on the Ben Stiller layer, go to Opacity, which is over here, you can see my mouse. I'm going to lower this so I can see through Ben Stiller. And I'm going to erase anywhere I see Barack Obama through Ben Stiller, and then that will put Ben behind Barack. Something to note, that I did not mention in the last video, but when you're cutting in this way, it's better to have the pencil tool selected rather than the brush tool. The brush tool has a soft edge, so it's kind of some transparency on the edge. The pencil tool is a nice hard edge. So um, you can, uh, oops. I'm going to go back to the eraser here, edit undo, step backward, also edit undo, you can undo once and then you have to start stepping backward. In any case, I am going to keep erasing all of the Ben Stiller that is in front of Barack Obama, and again command plus zooms us in. So you have more control of your paintbrush. A smaller paintbrush would work well here, but again, I don't want a large video. Okay, I'm going to do Command minus. And I'm going to go back over here to Opacity and make it 100%. And there's Ben standing behind Barack Obama. 
Now, a couple of things to make it a little, little bit more believable of a blend. I'm still on the Ben Stiller layer. I'm going to use the magic wand, which again, oh, so it only selected that half because it's broken there. I'm going to hold shift and click that again, and now I've got a selection here and here. So again, that was, select, deselect. I used the magic wand, which is right there. Clicked the left side of Ben Stiller and the right side of Ben Stiller. I hold shift when I click those two times. I'm going to select. On the select menu, I want to modify my selection. I want to expand it. And I want to expand it about two pixels. How much you expand it depends on how big your photo is. But I brought it in a little bit. And so now you can see the edges of Ben Stiller are selected. I just pointed at the screen, but you guys can't see that. And it, anyways, the edge of Ben Stiller selected, I'm going to filter, go to blur, Gaussian blur, and I just want to do about 0 0.5 pixels. I'm going to put a slight blur on the edge of Ben so that his edges don't look so hard. So now select, deselect, so he blends in a little bit better. Now, if I want to try and do, change the lighting on him a little bit, I'm going to be on the Ben Stiller layer still. Image, adjustments, let's just work with exposure. There's a bunch of settings here we can mess with to try and change the lighting. I'm going to make exposure a little darker. I think that's pretty good. And I'm going to say, so I just move exposure down a little bit. and see what this does if I do some of it. No, I don't want to mess with that. Anyways, we'll say OK. And there, Ben Stiller is. I'm going to zoom in, grab the lower right to show you. There's Ben Stiller, Secret Service for uh, Barack Obama. Now, if I spend a little bit more time, I could get the edge here. You can see a little bit of Ben Stiller on the face of Barack there. I can grab the eraser and actually fix that a little bit. But now the edge is not soft. Okay, in any case, that is the idea. And that is how to add a picture that you've cut out into another picture.